Here's how to back up your embassy in Windows 10. We'll start by making a directory in Windows. I'll go into the users directory and I'll go into my administrator user, BC man in this case. I'm going to start by right clicking and making a new folder. I'm going to call this folder M backups. Now I'm going to right click on it, press properties, press sharing click share and then I'll just click share down here. This is the information. So I'm going to right click on it and copy link and I'm going to press done and close this. Now I'll go back to my embassy and I need to add that folder. So I go to embassy, click on create backup, click on open. And here's where we enter the details. We can just right click and paste. After file and before the path is the host name you need. So you can backspace all this and that's the host name right there. For path, similarly, we can paste again, but this time we just need the M backup and the rest of the path after the host name. So we'll go from here and delete all of that. That's the path. For username, this is our username, BC man and the password is one I made for this video, just demo password. Now we can click connect, network error. I might need to add a dot local into here. There we go. Now it's available for us to back up over our local area network. We can just click on it, press create backup, and then we will need to type our embassy password. This encrypts the backup. The data will be securely encrypted in your backup, so it's safe to put it anywhere like iCloud or some other cloud storage solution. But if you ever lose this password or someone else learns it, that's how they can gain access to the data. And if it's just a lost password, this backup will be no use to you. So I'm gonna enter my password now, create backup. And now we can see the process of it backing up here. Our backup has completed. You can click on notifications and see a message here, backup complete. To recover a service on your embassy, you will first need to make sure that that service is not already installed. In this case, I'm gonna uninstall burn after reading and then I'm gonna recover it from a backup I made earlier. To uninstall it, I'll click on it, go to actions and click uninstall and continue. In a couple of seconds, that will be uninstalled. To make a recovery, we click on Embassy, we click on Restore from Backup, and then we can select the folder that our backup is located in. Click Restore from Backup, and then you will need your Embassy's master password. Now, as mentioned, you can only recover a service if it doesn't already exist on the Embassy. In this case, we uninstalled burn after reading, so that's now available as an option to us for recovery. I'm gonna select it, click on restore selected, and watch as it recovers the service. The final thing to mention is that it will say needs config. Unlike when installing the service for the first time, the default configuration will just be whatever it was when you backed up the service. It won't be the original default that you're offered when you first install. So I can click on it, press configure, and I'll be offered the default. And as mentioned, this will be whatever it was when you backed up the service. Now I can just hit save. And I'm back exactly where I started at the beginning of this video. 